The time starts with Beauty and the beast became the beast and the beast because he made a beast out of the woman he wooed immediately after their conjugal bliss. Beauty and the beast because a beast was in him, a beast she never got to discover until after their conjugal bliss. You see, they were like a match made in heaven, but the match soon struck and she lived her life in hell. What she saw, she couldn't tell, she couldn't find the right pitch. Her mind was a failed referee. She was like a maid made of steel, for no one would tolerate such rate of brutality even from their masters. A maid to the same man who made her change her last name. For the man she called husband saw her as ragtag, but just like the meek and diligent, she obeyed his every commandment. Never got engaged in an argument so that he became her religion as she worshipped his every decision yet. Her teas were quotidian just like the morning dew. And the sentence you are due for marriage was what sentenced her to marriage. Perhaps she fell in love too early with a man who wasn't ready to make her happy because this was no marriage. As her looks told the lie of her age, she was bitter like Betty butter, bitter butter. So even when she called him sweetheart, her heart was far from being sweet. And in spite of her loyalty and humility, he treated her with spite. So that whenever he came back from work, it was as though he came back for war. He made the poor woman pour her heart in tears as she soliloquized her ordeal. She lived and spoke in fear. Fear that her husband would not come back home so early because just truly had ordered his dinner, the afang soup and pounded meal before he left for work. So if she failed to make it work, he would teach her a lesson. A lesson that will lessen the rays of light that got into her eyes. Her face was like a map with several contour lines as his fingerprints were stamped on her once beautiful face. Yes, darling continued to push her to the wall. You would have thought her love for him would grow lean, but surprisingly, the more he hurt her, the more she loved him. And even in his Adamic nature, the more she tried to save him. But he remained adamant. He went out every day clubbing with the boys and came back home clubbing at his wife. His frame of mind was like a glass and she was like a pump copying a broken glass. And so she bled in tears as his words were tears that choked her very essence. She kept on saying a prayer for darling. She devoted her devotion to a man who never gave his devotion. They say respect is reciprocal. I bet they forgot to mention that love should be reciprocal. Because an unreciprocated love is love undeserved. Beauty and the beast became the beast and the beast. When he who is now means so nothing wrong in flirting with the daughters of Eve, even at the eve of his anniversary. This showman reached his show marks when he brought home a replacement for his wife. And her only crime was to ask what crime she had committed to be neglected with his abandonment of commitment. For at the expense of his wife, he spared no expense on these expensive girls. For he was a big god to their small self. On the 23rd of June 2013 was the day the devil struck. Two jabs to the ribcage figuratively and then an upper court. And what became her ma was to leave the door ajar. For her prayer seemed like the fuel he needed to pray on her. His fierce look was as constant as the northern star. And every step as he advanced sounded like the whirling of the wild wind. Mr. and Mrs. looked at each other. And just when he decides to assert himself like Caesar, those in charge of the power supply decides to seize her. And the missus seizes this opportunity to seize her life back. She reached for the mortar pistol, struck three blows to his head. She gave him three blows, but he had given her several blows that led to this blow. But this was going to be the last blow. For beauty and the beast became the beast and the beast, because he made a beast out of the woman he wooed immediately after their conjugal bliss. Bravo. Yeah. Ambassador Ogaga, okay. Please. Okay, so that is why we call it stage on fire. Mm -hmm. it, it's not stage on fire until you set the stage on fire. Yeah. I think uh, there is a, a, there is an improvement from the first one, and of course you see the flow is better, the delivery is better, and there was the stage management too. There was a point where, of course, you would have had a pitch, and with the way you managed it, you, uh, I think. That was the confidence for me, the composure. So, it's uh, I'm yet to see that the fire that is going to consume uh, <laughs> the stage. I was smiling all through. I must commend your second presentation. Indeed, your composure, your delivery, your flow, your diction, and the message. I I was so interested in the message. The message really captivated my attention because when it comes to domestic violence, we know that uh, domestic violence goes both ways. But women. Uh, 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 more of uh, victims of domestic violence and I loved the fact that you said we know that respect should be reciprocal but love as well should be reciprocal so well done, that was uh, an outstanding performance, well done and we hope you do better during the last face off which is the, the third presentation ok we'll move on now to our second contestant for the day Eden, over to you Eden alright thank you my father had 12 wives. My father had 12 children with only two to call biological. The rest were not his. But they had him more in their life than we who bear his name in his notebooks. Sometimes I wish him dead. 
My father had 12 wives, but the only one living under his roof, the rest, sorry to say, were sluts. But had more time for his love than my mother could ever bargain for. This very action ached her heart she should beat the last. You see, sometimes I can still see her cry, shuddering at the side of the room after his surgery sessions. You see, my mother's face was once beautiful until my father became Ben Cassin, but this time he was not making or remaking, he was marrying her face. You see, my mother was a strong woman, beautiful, strong-willed, her, her waist holding the whole family together. But sometimes I wish she could have enough guts to move away from